Good morning, guys. So I'm up. One day post op, and I'm about to head to my one day post op appointment. I think I'm going to get massage today. So I just want to check in, let you guys know what's going on on the second day after surgery. My eyes are swollen. I have not been sleeping well. I'm waking up like every three hours. Not this is painful. Just uncomfortable, you know. But I just want to check in this morning and let you guys know what's going on. I will see you guys when I get to Mia Aesthetics for my post-op, first day post-op appointment. Okay guys, so I made it to my first um, day pre-op appointment and it's about four or five ladies in front of me. Y'all know I can't sit on that booty so I am standing up. And I guess I will come back when I get to the back. Okay, guys. So, I'm waiting on Dr. Gray to come in. And I'm about to get a massage today. Oh, they got me out of my faha. It's not too painful. But I'm ready to get some of this fluid off of me, y'all. And um, I just wanted to check in to let y'all know what's going on today. First day post-op. And I'm at my appointment. I'm in the bed. Waiting on Dr. Gray and the massage therapist to come in, y'all. To give me my first massage. I'm praying it's not painful, you guys. But I will be back after we are done. I really pee a thousand times last night. I got up every two hours to pee. But I was drinking a lot of fluids also. Good. Well, um, all that peeing makes it super important to stay hydrated. Because by doing that, your kidneys are kind of in overtime. And you want to make sure that they're staying healthy and flushed, okay? Also, if you're not drinking enough, your body will start to think that you're dehydrating. And instead of um, releasing the fluids to get rid of them, it's going to want to hang on to them. And that's when you can run into problems like fibrosis and seromas, okay? Okay. But we do these massages to help get that excess taken care of. So by doing these massages, we're going to help you to feel better, help you to heal a little faster, and help you to avoid infection, seroma, and fibrosis. Okay, baby? Okay. Your pain today on a scale of 0 to 10? 3. 3? What are you taking for pain? Um, Oxy. Did you eat with it this morning? No, I took it at 5. I hadn't eaten anything. At all? Did no. you took it? Nope. And you took it on empty stomach? At only pineapple juice and Oxy oh, at 5 o'clock okay. this morning. We'll see how it works out. But if you're okay now, you should be okay. No, it didn't make me feel bad on my stomach or anything. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, so, did they talk to you about ibuprofen? Yes, but I only have Tylenol, Muscle and Ache, and Tylenol PM. I didn't even bring any ibuprofen at all. Oh, okay. All right, but they explained on you how, to, how you can take it if you yes. can get some. All right. Every three hours. Right. So up to 1,000 ibuprofen. I mean, up to 1,000 Tylenol, up to 800 ibuprofen. Every three hours, get it on the schedule, stay ahead of the pain, and you're going to get through the first few days. Really okay. Easy, okay. Now, if you're going to alternate between the Oxy and Tylenol, six hours. All right, six hours because both of them have Tylenol in it, and that's gonna be a lot on your liver if you do it any more than that. Okay. Okay, got it. All right, beautiful. Let's see if she get working for you. Are you allergic to anything? Not that I know. All right. In my massage lotion, we have hypoallergenic lotion and oil. Got some menthol, which is gonna help soothe things and feel good. And then we also got some arnica, which is gonna help with tenderness and bruising. Okay. Okay.
we don't allow recording during the sessions. I'm sorry, mama. Okay, so guys, I will be what back once that, she's baby? done. Okay, guys, I just had my first massage. Oh, it wasn't that painful, but they stick these little things in your incisions. I have uh, four, seven incisions, four in the front, three in the back, and they open the holes. It really didn't hurt. One of them burned. But it really didn't hurt y'all. And I'm not draining as much. So she said I really need to drink a lot, a lot of water. But I told her on yesterday it was just running and running out. I was draining like really bad. It was running all down my butt, my leg, everything. But I really peed a lot. I had to pee like every, uh, oh, my incisions hurt a little bit. I had to pee like every two hours it kept waking me up out of my sleep to pee on last night but when i get back out get me some good food and um drank a lot of water today and she did tell me to slow up on the pineapple juice because the pineapple juice will give you diarrhea i promise you i done drunk by six cans <laughs> oh lord it hurt me to be silly but my pain though, like I said, it's like a three. It's not hurting really bad. You just sore. But I'm waiting on Dr. Gray to come in and um, I'll be headed back to the recovery house. Okay guys, so I had to come to Walmart. Oh shoot. Because I needed some things. Like my crops, I left them at home. So I had to come to Walmart to get some because I can't keep um, wearing these little soft shoes I have on. So I'm going to make this quick because I don't have my faja on. So hopefully the line is not long. Okay guys, so I have left on my appointment. Had a great massage. Then I had to stop by Walmart because my little slippers that I have is wet out here. They keep getting wet. So I went and bought me some crops and two more other items. But I have to ride like this in the car because you can't sit on that booty. So I'm about to go have my first bath, get my um, foam and board in, and put my new faja on. I had to um, buy two fajas because the other one that they put me on after surgery is really wet and dirty. So they're gonna wash it at the recovery house today. And I'll put the new one on that I just got at my appointment. Um, I had a guy keep saying, um, that mean I really don't know what to say, y'all. But I just think you guys know you can't sit on that booty. So this is how I have to ride in the car. I'm not in that much pain. I'm happy about that. And my massages weren't that bad. Although they had to open my incision. They opened it with this little wood stick. They poked it. And I, well, I have like seven incisions, four in the front, three in the back. And only one burned when they poked it. But I'm doing good. My pain level is good. They told me don't take any more Percocets today. <laughs> <laughs> I will need my Percocet, but I'm going to um, transfer over to the Tylenol Muscle and Body 8 today, and I'll take my Percocet if I really, really need them. And of course, I'm going to eat me some gummies. I didn't have much drainage, but I told them on yesterday, like I was really, really wet, and I was draining like I was so wet. It was just running down my butt, everything, but... They told me to get hydrated, drink a lot of water, coconut water, not much pineapple juice. They told me to drink the pineapple juice, but she said the pineapple juice can give you diarrhea. So I've already drank about six cans <laughs> from yesterday through the night because I, I didn't sleep well last night. Um, I keep having to get up to pee pee. And I told them that they said that was a good thing as well. But I'm headed to the recovery house to get me a bath, some food, stay on top of the meds that keeps your pain level down. Like if you're supposed to take the meds every five hours, you need to take them every four hours. So you won't be in such pain. But like I said, my pain level is great. I'm doing great, I'm okay. I'm about to shower, eat, 
and get some more rest and stay hydrated.